The universe is flat, at least according to all of the data, but we don't know what shape it is. Confused? Let me explain. So roughly speaking, there's three ways a thing can be curved, and we can classify them by how that curvature makes triangles look. A positively curved thing makes triangles bulge on the sides. A negatively curved thing gives triangles hip dips. A thing with zero curvature makes triangles look how you might expect them to look, straight. Now, in our universe, we observe that triangles are straight, at least as far as we can tell. It could be that the universe is actually positively curved and it's just really big. This is sort of like how we can't see the curvature of the Earth because we're small even though the Earth is a globe. But as far as I'm concerned, the data says, on average, there's no curvature, so it's flat. But that doesn't tell us what shape it is. No worries, however. Some clever mathematics, done by Novotsky, Honcha, and Wendt in the 1930s, lets us pin down the possible shapes, and there are 18 of them. Now, it might be a bit hard to imagine what I mean by the shape of the universe, considering that the universe isn't in something. But to prime your imagination, imagine a Pac-Man universe in two dimensions. You go out one side and come back in the other side. One of these possible 18 shapes is the three-dimensional equivalent. If you go in one direction long enough, you end up at the other side of the universe. This example is called the three torus, and it's probably the second simplest shape. So what are these shapes? Well, 10 of them are sort of like the three torus. They're finite in size, and they loop back on themselves in different ways. For example, some of them have twists, meaning that if you go in one direction long enough, you come back to where you started, but upside down. Others reverse orientation. You go in one direction long enough, and you get back to where you started, except everything is reversed. Clocks tick backwards, everyone's hearts are on the right side, etc. These are so-called non-orientable three-dimensional spaces, but most cosmologists don't think that that's how our universe is, basically for antimatter reasons. Then there's eight more shapes that are infinite in extent in one way or another. The simplest one is just the most basic infinite universe. No twists, no loops. Just go in one direction forever. This is called Euclidean space. Other, non-compact shapes are infinite in one direction, but perhaps loop in another direction, perhaps with a twist or a parity reversal. But again, the parity reversals are not taken too seriously. And that's all the possibilities. So which is right? Well, it's not so clear. The data that we have seems to be entirely consistent with Euclidean space. There are a few anomalies that might slightly prefer a three torus over Euclidean space, but it's really hard to tell. And if the universe is finite in size but big enough, it's possible that we'll never be able to tell. Whatever the shape of our universe is, though, its size is at least as big as the apparent size of the observable universe.